So the question is asking if Rawls' theorem can be applied. So solution. Recall Rawls' theorem. Rawls' theorem says that if one, uh, our function is continuous. So f is continuous on, I'll use the notation people usually use, a comma b, a closed interval, right, including the endpoints. Two, f is differentiable on the open interval. So open means we have two parentheses. And three, if the endpoints are the same, the values of the function at the endpoints are the same. If all of these three things hold, then Rawls says there is a number, that means there exists a number c in the open interval such that the derivative of f at c is equal to zero. Really, really cool uh, theorem. So in this case, let's see, can Rawls be applied? Well, the first condition checks, right? This is a, it looks like a V, everything's nice, there's no holes or breaks. What about the second condition? Let's draw a picture. So this is the absolute value of x, right here, it looks like a V. And so the absolute value of x is not differentiable at zero. Now, if you look at this picture here, this is the absolute value of x shifted to the, shifted, shifted to the left by two. When you add two to the x, you're going to the left. So we're over here, one, two. That's a big picture. Okay, so um, this function is not differentiable at x equals negative 2. But who cares, right? Negative 2 is not between 2 and 7. So this is, you know, our function, we only care about our function between 2 and 7. So we only care about what's going on right here. Well, right here, it's a beautiful straight line. So uh, straight lines are differentiable. So no problem there. So the first two conditions, conditions actually check. So you have to be careful. Just because it's an absolute value function, you can't say, oh, not differentiable. This one is, in particular, it's differentiable between 2 and 7, and that's what we are concerned with. So now we'll check this. So in our problem, a is 2 and b is 7. So f of 2, well, 2 plus 2 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. And f of 7, well, that's 7 plus 2. Uh, which is 9, and the absolute value of 9 is 9. So f of 2 is not equal to f of 7, right? 4 is not equal to 9. Uh, so, so no, cannot use Rawls. Cannot use Rawls. So that's the answer. So I think the answer would be all of this, right? You would need to uh, justify to the reader why Rawls cannot be used. Really, really good example, I think, because when most people see an absolute value function, they think, oh, Rawls isn't going to work because, you know, there's an absolute value there. But that's, that's just totally not the case uh, in, in this example. So I hope this has helped someone out there.